see, battles are going on everywhere, you know. I got thinking about, you know, when you work, you got a job, and your boss is, is real negative and, and is always causing torment and stuff in the office, you know. And I've heard people talk about they prayed and they prayed and they prayed, and the next thing they knew, that boss was gone. You know, that reminded me. I got thinking about it. Hold your peace and let God fight your battles. You see, the devil's out to kill, steal, and destroy you. If he's not trying to interfere with your home, he's trying to interfere with your workplace. And there's a lady told me the other day, she was a beautician. She was cutting hair, and, and the lady beside of her cut hair. And that lady tormented her every day. And she said, I did the only thing that I know how to do. I held my peace and let God fight my battles. She said, I came in that next day. She said, this went on a couple of months. And she said, all she did, she kept crying out to God, saying, God, if you want me to be here, keep me here or put me somewhere else or move her out of the way. And guess what happened? Said so she came into work one day. And that lady was packing her bags up, saying, I'm leaving, see? And that's telling us something here. If we hold our peace and let God fight our battles, he's telling us, the Lord shall fight for you. Ye shall hold your peace. And see, that's what we're supposed to do. See, we're in battles every day. We're, we're in battles with our kids. We're in battles with uh, in our jobs. We're in battle with our finances. We're in battle with, uh, some people are in battles with drugs. Some are battling uh, prostitution. Some are battling pornography. Some are battling uh, gambling. There's all kinds of things going on. And, and the Bible's telling us here, hold our peace and let God fight our battles. Stand still and see the salvation of God. You know, we got people out here praying for their children like me, you know. And, and we just got to keep praying and hold your peace and let God fight your battles. You know, these families are getting split up now. Uh, people are living their scared they're tormented i talked to a lady the other day her, her children are tormenting her and, and i told her i said listen all you can do is pray hold your peace and let god fight your battles i've had family members get get in arguments with me and the only thing i did is the only thing i know how to do is what this bible tells us to do hold your peace and let god fight your battles see we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against dark principalities of this world. And if we hold our peace and let God fight our battles, just pray, things will work out. Stand still and see the salvation of God. All right. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto the, speak unto the children of Israel, that they should go forward. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. You know what's telling me, what the Lord's showing me here? We're all going to have battles. But you know what? If we hold our peace and stand still and let God fight our battles, we're going to get victory over our battles. We're all going through something. He never promised us we didn't, we're, we're not going to have battles. But what he's telling us here, if we hold our peace, he'll give us victory. See, God loves us. We can't do it our way. We got to do it his way. Hold your peace and let God fight your battles. All right. And the angel of God which went before the camp of Israel removed and went behind them and a pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. 
And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that the one came not, not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went to the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on the right hand and on their left. 